Hello, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new project to share with you on my YouTube channel and blog. Um, made from our flip front box kit uh, that comes with album covers. These little boxes are really fun to alter. So the kit is um, made from 2.25mm chipboard and comes with instructions on how to assemble and it's assembled in conjunction with, you can use tape or glue, but I use our black construction tape. I'll put the link to the tape and the box kit under the video. So let me show you um, two different ideas to alter the boxes. So the first one, this one, is a presentation box. It's a fun little box. I've added a handle to the lid, but you don't have to. Uh, but if you take the lid off, the front flips down and it's made wide enough or deep enough to add two jam jars. We call them jam jars here, mason jars in the US. Um, standard size, so these are little ones, but you can add large ones. I've just added some straw down at the bottom. So this is a fun harvest themed little gift box altered in papers from the Children's Hour collection by Graphic 45. Uh, and the lid fits snugly on the top. You can't pick it up by the handle, just to warn you. Um, but a really lovely autumnal theme to this little kit, or this little box. And then, let's move that one out of the way. This one I've altered in papers from the Safari Adventure collection by Graphic 45. Again, I've added a handle to the lid. I've used some baker's twine, black and white baker's twine, to add a little key, which is hanging around somewhere, and a tag. And I love doing this with the ends of my ribbons, just adding little black card dots and then putting glossy accents on them just to make them like little buttons. And it gives some weight to the end of the ribbon or twine. I've used um, the zebra paper. I love it. Absolutely love the prints in this collection are fabulous. And put one of the cutouts on the front bottom of the box until I realised that actually I'd added it to the back. So when you take the lid off, the flip front is this side. So I added another cutout, these lovely tags from the paper and the middle one's got the zebra print on. So I wanted this to be red and zebra print. So that's the box, and then the kit itself comes with album covers and a spine so that you can make an album. And there is a PDF tutorial for this album. The album on its own, and also the album and the case, if you wanted to make the case as well. Um, but the case comes as a kit. Dimensions for the kit aren't given in the PDF tutorial. So just to let you know. So this is the little album. Six by six, so you can use your smaller papers to alter it. I've used um, a cutout from the 12 by 12 paper and sort of mixed up patterns and solids, 12 by 12 papers in here and just added and cut out the elements from the paper. Graphic 45 are very good at giving us lots of elements to cut out. So if you're a fussy cutting fanatic like I am, then they are definitely the papers to choose. I've added the stamps on the spine just to give a fun theme with the parrots on the spine as well as the cover. And then inside the little book has got six interactive pages with pockets. So we've got the lovely flora and fauna here with wild safari. I've just picked that out in glossy accents just to make it stand up. And then there's just a little book here plain on the inside for photos with one of those fab parrots on the front and again the baker's twine with the little dots on the end as an embellishment and then I've created a tag pocket here and added another tag again room for a photo on the back and then use some of the borders just to accent the page there. I've shaped all the corners as well with a stub punch and then this page has got pockets on both sides. So we've got tags in the side pockets, one little parrot there, and another little book here for photos. 
and then there are inner pockets as well. So two tags on those inner pockets. And actually this whole page, if I take that out, you can see, it's been covered with just one strip of paper from the 12 by 12 sheet. And I've used both sides of it, so flipped over the side. So it's a really economical little album to make and fun as well. So let's pop those under there. And then we flip over and we've got a flat page. So I've added pockets to this one. I had to use that little tiger. He is my favourite chappy at the moment. And I've made a complimentary pocket little book to go in the pocket using the tiger print papers on the front and then just plain photos inside and added the welcome to our jungle on the front. Again, some more of those, the baker twine and the little black bubbles. He is just gorgeous. I've used the patterns and solids on the background here just to tone in with the picture and then created a little pocket using two of the stamps from the collection to make a photo mat or to hold a photo mat. Again, that's just plain on the back. And then flipping over, lots going on on this page with our gorgeous elephants. I really, really love the way that um, Diane and her team have created the images on the papers in this collection. They really work well together. So we've got another little book with some binoculars on the front. That's a cutout again. So that one slides in there. And we seem to have a spare tag. Let's just hold on to it. So a little red tag in the pocket here. And then right in the centre, I've added an extra element just by taking one of the cutouts and backing it to create two little pockets on either side. And then using the border strip down here and on the other side to create a little pocket to put the tiny tags in. And then behind the cutout is a pocket on each side for two tags to pull out. And again, you could use those as journaling spots or for photos. So I thought that was a lovely way of incorporating the elephant with the elephant paper. And then there's a pocket at the edge of the page here and another one on this side. Again, I've just coordinated the patterns and solids with the papers, left the back of the tags blank, and they just slide in the pocket there. And then, whoop, got stuck. Flipping over, we've gone with the giraffes. So greens and the caramel colours all match in with the cutout of the giraffes here. And I've just edged the cutout in black to create the pocket, and then just extended the black just to cut around the head of the giraffe and the feet, and then created two tags to go in that pocket, one out of the same paper as I've used on this page, and one out of the paper that's got all of the adverts on. And they just slide in there. And then there's another two in this pocket here. I've used a border strip there just to accent the page, one of the cutouts on the border and the words as well. And that creates a nice pocket at the bottom of that page. And then these two tags just slide in on there. And then flipping over, we go to another pocket page. So the pages alternate between flat and pockets. So um, it's quite an easy little album to put together. Again, we've got another little photo book here with the bubbles on and the baker's twine. And I've added the cutouts from the signature sheet of paper, those little frames on the border. So we've got a lion and a parrot, and then the two little tags. Let's pop that one in there. Maybe that's where it went. And another one just hiding under there. It's quite deceptive actually. It's quite a deep pocket. So I've gone for the brown patterns and solids and I think the bottom of the tent advert, I think they went together like that. And that one just slides in the back there. And then we've got to the back cover and I've gone for all of the leaves. I love this paper and the parrots. 
and then I've just used the border from the signature sheet just to create the pocket edges here and then just a plain photo mat to go in that side with one of the parrot stamps on and then one on the patterns and solids with the lovely zebra tag on that side and that one just slides in under there. So 12 pages, six page sets in this little album. Lots to create. It's really colourful, really fun little album to make and it fits inside the box if you wanted to keep it as a keepsake or give it away as a gift. It sits really nicely in that presentation box. So that is it. Our flip front box and album set altered in the Safari Adventure Papers and just the kit, uh, the box itself, altered in the Children's Hour Papers to make two really different projects from the same kit. So I've put, the, as I mentioned, I put the description to the um, PDF tutorial for the Safari Adventure album and album in case in the description under the video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you feel inspired. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be kept up to date with new projects and products as they come out. Thanks for watching.